acknowledging the excellence of Olga Stajeva. Live from Fairfax, Virginia. Not too often you see live coverage of gymnastics, but we have it for you on the American Cup Championships here at George Mason University. Olga Strajeva waiting for her score, knowing she needs 9.73 or better. We assume she knows. Okay, she's going to dance a little here at the top and then back up into the corner. And she's attempting a double front, as I mentioned before, that is very difficult to see the landing on. I've never seen a girl perform this skill before her. Handspring, front, handspring, double front, forward roll, and now she goes right back across the floor with three back handsprings to an Arabian one and three quarter. <laughs> really nice stuff. Bart, I know you determined yesterday that uh, her favorite food is ice cream. In her first trip to the U.S., she's yet to sample American-style ice cream. Her coach won't let her have any till this is all over. Yeah, and he said after the meet, we're going out for a gallon. <laughs> Awaiting her scores, Olga Sprajeva. And meanwhile, while we await that score, let's uh, go down to Ann Butler with Christy Phillips. Well, Christy, Christy's so anxious to watch Phoebe, she doesn't really want to talk to us. But Christy, how do you feel after your final rotation? I, I You, you had to perform under pressure to win. This year you have to wait to see what happens. Which is harder? I feel that waiting is harder because, you know, when you're, when you're not, when you don't know what you need and you're just going out there just to do your best, you know, you feel like you've got to do it. And this year, you know, I felt I had to do it, but I wasn't so um, motivated to do it. Okay, we'll let you go back and watch. Back to you, Tim. All right, and while well, Christy Phillips with the score registered for Strajeva, 9.70, has retained her lead, even though she was disappointed in the score for her, 9.775. Now on the high bar, we're looking at Gogo, as we've called him here, Vladimir Gogoladze from the Soviet Union. And so far, his routine is great. He did three release moves in a row. Now he's going to set up for the triple back that Scott Johnson had trouble with. There it is, one, two, three. Boom. What a nail. That is nail. Well, 20-year-old Vladimir Gogolaja on the high bar. He needed a 9-5 in order to take the lead in the men's competition. Let's go back and look at the dismount as we await the score. Here's the inverted giant swings. Hop pirouette. Now he's going to do nice rhythmical giant swings. Not too fast here. Pull that one across now. He cranks this thing up in the air. One, two, three, and that is dropping a landing in. Gogoladza had a 9-8 on the high bar yesterday. He needs a 9-5 to take the lead in the men's competition. Ginsburg still to come. He'll be the final competitor of the competition. And did you notice, Tim, that after he finished his exercise, he got a kiss on the lips from his coach? <laughs> well, that's okay. I guess they do it a little differently in the <laughs> Soviet Union. And he got a 9-8. Matching his score of yesterday, and Gogoladze has now taken the lead in the men's competition. And we're in this final rotation. And that cheer you hear is for Phoebe Mills, the youngster from Northfield, Illinois, training in Houston with Bella Caroli and Christy Phillips. Here she goes in the floor exercise. Here we go. Pull in Pike. Nice job. Christy looked very strong in warm-ups, very confident. She needs a 9.88 to take the lead in this women's competition. Now that 9.88 is actually 9.875. We've been rounding up for simplicity. I don't know if it's any simpler because of that, but she has gotten off to a terrific start with a full end pike, which is a new element for her. She's been using it probably about six months. But just as Christy did, she has also beefed up the difficulty of the tumbling run here. Which is a very nice pike on her back, which she did very easily. Phoebe was first in the floor exercise yesterday with that almost comeback effort. 9.875 or score yesterday that got her into the final. Can she duplicate it here? And we've talked about how Christy Phillips knows how to play to the audience. Well, Phoebe is getting there. She isn't quite the ham that Christy is, but she's doing much better and looking up off the floor, taking advantage of the energy and the electricity that the crowd can help you with. This four-foot, six-inch tall Phoebe Mills, the ninth 
grade Schooner. Final tumbling run. Here we go. Tuck double back. Nice job. Phoebe Mills. Golly. <laughs> the only remaining competitor who could beat Christy Phillips. I'm proud of you guys. I'm proud of you guys, both of you. <laughs> One guy who wasn't going to lose here today is Bella Caroli. One or the other of his girls will be the winner of the American Man, Cup. Yeah, that was a hard weekend. And there nah, they go. Really, that's too hard. You heard them say how they push each other, they're best of friends, but they're competitors. Here once again is the critical beginning of this exercise. Round off back handspring, full in, pike back. It isn't all that high, but it has terrific rotation. Here's the last tumbling run. He's going to do a tuck double back. Good lift. A little sloppy in the air, but you'd never know. It happens so fast, there's no way there's room for a deduction there. Well, Bella Caroli watching that, he says, oh my goodness, how can they do any better? <laughs> a look back at the happiness of Coach Bella Caroli. And the score coming up, this young girl who broke her wrist just a couple of months ago, she got a 9-8-2-5, that is not enough. It'll be Christie defending her title. I think so! I think so, you tie. I think so! Let, let me see. Christy Phillips I don't know. has retained her championship. Nobody else could catch her except Phoebe Mills. And a 9.825, not enough for Phoebe Mills. And Christy Phillips for the second year in a row is the American Cup Women's Championship. And so we'll return to finish up the men's competition live from Fairfax, Virginia in a moment. With Bart and Ann Butler, and uh, it has developed that uh, Christy Phillips is indeed the American Cup women's champion for the second year in a row. Defending her title, she trailed into the final rotation. She trailed the Soviet Olga Strajeva, a newcomer here in the U.S. who looked just outstanding and led all the way into the floor exercise. Phoebe Mills finished third, just fractions behind Olga Strajeva. Now let's go and join the champion with Ann Butler. Well, first of all, congratulations to both of you guys for that great one-two punch. Christy, what did you think as you were waiting? Well, I was just, I just wanted Phoebe to do her best. And I just wanted the, I just wanted Olga to do her best. I mean, Oksana to do her best too, because I wanted everybody just to be pleased with what they've done. And Phoebe, as you as you hit the floor exercise, were you really trying to beat Christy? What was going through your mind? I wasn't trying to beat Christy at all. I just wanted to go out there and do a really good job and do good for myself, so I know that I had a good meet. It's been kind of a rough year for you. Did you expect to do this well this year? Well, I felt pretty prepared coming into this competition. At workouts, I was having really good workouts, and so expected to do what I did. Okay, congratulations again to both of you two, and good luck next events coming up. Tim, back to you. All right, Ann. Well, of course, this has been a huge day in NCAA basketball competition with all of the tournaments uh, finishing up today and setting up for the big one you'll be watching on CBS, the NCAA championship tournament. So for an update on today's basketball activity, let's go to Jim Nance in New York. All right, thank you. We are live in Fairfax, Virginia. Tremendously exciting American Cup competition. And in the men's, as it stands right now, we are in the final rotation on the high bar. The Soviet Vladimir Gogoladze is the leader. Scott Johnson in second place with Brian Ginsburg in fourth place. But he is yet to compete. So he can win this. He needs a 9.65 on the high bar. And he will be the last competitor today. We'll be back with the action in a moment. Twenty-year-old Brian Ginsburg, a chance to win the men's competition at the American Cup. Born in Miami, grew up in Mobile, lives in Los Angeles. He needs a 9.65 to win here today. He is upcoming. Yesterday, some problems on the high bar. A score of just 9.1, and we asked him what happened yesterday. I, on my ginger, I when I went to grab it, I grabbed with one hand. I didn't get my other hand completely on there. So when I uh, kept to do my other release, I uh, sort of uh, <laughs> didn't have a grip, so I had to come back down and, you know, reset my grip, and then I was able to get through the rest of the set. 
Well, Bart Connor, as we look at uh, Brian Ginsburg, I'm sure a lot of fans are saying, what did he say? What's a ginger? <laughs> well, a ginger actually technically is a flyaway with a half turn regrasp on the high bar. It's a very exciting move, but unfortunately, that's the move that injured Tim Daggett last week. Uh, that's also the move that injured Brian Babcock on our team. Eberhard Ginger, who invented the move from West Germany, is here as one of the judges. And I said, why did you ever invent that move? It's wiping out all of our best gymnasts. Did you do a ginger? I did a ginger. And I How fell well did you do a ginger? I, I fell off the high bar as much as I made it. <laughs> all right, well, here's a young man who does not want to fall off the high bar. He's got a chance to win the men's competition here. Last year he came in, he was a dark horse. He wound up nearly winning it. Finished in second place at the American Cup last year here on CBS, and it really gave him an opportunity to make a name for himself among the American gymnasts. He was not one of the well-known guys. Absolutely, and this type of competition actually plays right into Brian Ginsburg's hands. He is an optional performer. This is his baby, and so I think this is where you'll have an opportunity to see him shine. Iris and Nettie Gan Net, uh, Gan Ginsburg are here uh, to watch their son in action today. And, and of course, they must be uh, tremendously excited uh, at the position he's in here with a chance to win the competition. And once again, it's important to note that there are no compulsory exercises in this event. So it is different from an Olympic or a world championship competition. The gymnasts are just being judged on their optional exercises, which of course for Brian Ginsburg is a terrific advantage. Well, it's been a battle between Ginsburg, Scott Johnson, and the Soviet Gogoladze. Let's go down and see what Scott Johnson, who's already been on the high bars, thinking at this moment he's with Ann Butler. Scott, what, how do you assess Brian's chances? Well, the way that I see it, all he's got to do is get through his routine, nothing fancy, get through his routine, land on his feet on his just now, and he's got this competition won. I bet you're pulling for him. I'm pulling for him. I want a USA to walk out with a, with a first place trophy. The so girls have already done it, now it's Brian's turn. Well, I know how badly you want to watch this, and we're going to let you turn around and do just that. Tim, back to you. All right, and there's Brian Ginsburg, and you know, just what Scott Johnson said was, was exactly what we talked about earlier. His attitude this year, starting 1987, is just superb in terms of the U.S. chances in the Pan Ams and in the World Championships. So now he's cheering for his teammate, Brian Ginsburg. His parents looking on, you can see a little anxiety there, especially in Dad working the hands over and up he goes. Brian knows right now that he has to do the best he's ever done in his life on this event. <laughs> There's a full twisting one-arm giant swing. Here's a pirouette. There's a one-arm ginger. Okay, he was in a little close, but there was where the problem was yesterday, and today it looks great. Nice ginger. So far, this routine is excellent. Okay, it's all going to come down to whether he nails this landing. Nice. One, two, three, triple back. That's it. I'll bet you that's our champion. What a job by Brian Ginsburg. We'll have a score for you momentarily. The silver medalist a year ago, perhaps the new champion among the men here today. A psychology major at UCLA who now wants to study veterinary medicine. A bright, interesting young guy, and now suddenly a factor in men's gymnastics in world competition with the Pan Ams and the World Championships ahead. Let's go back for a replay here. Okay, right at the stop, top of his exercise, he does a pirouette. One arm, full twisting giant swing. A little trouble there, but he kept the rhythm moving. Now here comes the release moves that he had trouble with before. There's a one arm to a ginger, good position. Back up, pirouette. Now again, a ginger, and that one was right on. He knows at this point that he's gotten past the most difficult elements, and he's really great at doing dismounts. So I think at this point he thought, I got this baby name. Well, he did get it, 9.75. Brian Ginsburg is the new men's champion of the American Cup here at George Mason University. Scott Johnson will be second. So Johnson, Johnson finishes third with Gogoladze, the Soviet, in second place. But the champion, Brian Ginsburg of the United States, and Christy Phillips, the American Cup women's champion. And so, an exciting competition comes to conclusion for Bart Connor and Ann Butler. This is Tim Ryan saying so long from the Patriot Center, George Mason University in Fairfax, Virginia. Coming up next, the road to the Final Four, the NCAA Tournament Selection Show. The McDonald's American Cup Gymnastics Championship has been a presentation of CBS Sports.
now. This little movement reflects pure genius. The genius of the Minolta AF Telecamera. The genius of the very first autofocus auto everything compact to build in two lenses, one standard, one telephoto, motorized at the flip of a switch. Minolta AF Tele gives you brilliant 35 millimeter pictures of someone close or even closer. Make the creative choice. Minolta AF Tele. Only from the mind of Minolta.